We visited Gateway Bronco and met with owner Seth Forget. He took us on a ride in one of these beautiful new Broncos. Well, I say new, it's an old Bronco, but then it's new. Anyway, if you want to see that video, check out the link down in the description, or you can check the title card up here and it'll take you to that video. If you want to see more great content like this, click the subscribe button down below, click the bell, and you'll get notified when we have new content. exhaust we custom design our exhaust to meet whatever the customer is looking for and um, you know we can make it sound any way somebody would like we build our own mufflers if we have to uh, we've also um, got active tuned exhaust so people can press a button and get exactly what they want well it certainly sounds different than uh, the 70s Broncos that I remember <laughs> We, uh, you know, we really appreciate the old pushrod engine, but you cannot take 50 years of engineering and go from the old pushrod small block Ford to a um, Coyote powertrain. There is no comparison, and um, we're about to find out what that comparison looks like. That'll put a smile on your face. Yeah. It's, That's awesome. uh, it's a great feel, it's a great uh, vibe. So you can feel how smooth the 10-speed transmission is. It's just like butter all the yeah. way through. And then, um, you know, it's a four-link suspension, so it's a smoother ride. We'll go over some bumps here, old railroad track, and uh, it's two fingers on the wheel, really. It's simple easy driving yeah I mean it's uh, it's amazing the difference my father had early 70s Bronco I remember it very well you know it was like riding on a two by four on a couple of, you know a couple yeah. of rims yeah so this is way we also notice how much quieter it is yeah so we've got an open-air vehicle we're still carrying like, on a conversation here and it all goes to the proprietary sound editing that we have in the vehicle very nice you also don't hear rattles uh, it's just a uh, rattle-free environment is our, is our approach. And the massive four-wheel disc brakes brings it to a stop in a hurry. And you notice the transmission does its downshift. It's just smooth and flawless. Yeah, that's just, that's fantastic. You yes. know, uh, of, of all the models that you make, the variations, do you have one that's Favorite. You know, the three models that we have, the, the Fuley Edition is essentially an original suspension architecture. Leaf spring in the back, coil spring in the front, uh, simple shock arrangement. It, it rides firm, not harsh. Uh, some people think it's going to ride like a, a rock truck, and it doesn't. It, it rides decent. But going to this level, the Coyote Edition is the middle product. It's kind of the Goldilocks to me. It, it has a great suspension, uh, bigger brakes. The four-link suspension is, is really just a, uh, a game changer in terms of the overall rideability and, and driving it for long distances uh, or short distances around town. So I, I think that the Coyote Edition is the perfect Bronco. It's a $250,000 Bronco, um, you know, with a few options. Uh, barnwood bed or a, um, uh, a hard top or what we have is a proprietary soft top. The proprietary soft top is convertible so press a button and have the soft top go back and if uh, the rain comes up bring it back up and no worries. So protect the leather and that's, that's about a $265,000 vehicle. Five year warranty. We go up to a seven year warranty on our Lux GT product which is kind of the ultimate sport SUV. They're all, every model, uh, no matter which one it is, they're all just incredible. This particular one, I really do like this flooring. It seems like it'd be fairly easy to keep it clean. It, it's unique, yes. It's C-Deck it's flooring throughout. So if you look at the boating industry, um, and we're, we're competitive endurance barefoot water skiers, and so we're, we're constantly in a boat every week. And, and you know, the C-Deck is a great product. It, it, we can fit it throughout the entire Bronco. Uh, you can wash it out. 
Uh, it provides for, provides for a quiet environment, and uh, it's kind of the perfect uh, beach cruiser, if you will. Yeah, it's perfect. That's exactly what I feel like when I'm in this yeah. car. Yeah. I feel like I should have a surfboard in here. <laughs> we can put a surfboard mount on here. <laughs> so one of the most popular um, additions that we have is the uh, backup camera. So this backup camera is, is simple. You put it in reverse and instantly the the screen turns to a backup camera. The mirror is the screen. The mirror is the screen. I see. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's unique because this is an OE quality product. It's not an aftermarket product. It's an OE quality product that we've integrated into the Bronco. I love to see those modern touches in these. Yeah, this has Classic power people. windows, uh, heated oh, really? seats. Uh, so power windows and heated seats. Um, it has, uh, you know, the four link suspension, the uh, really all of the things that make it comfortable and usable and and it has this three row or, or three across the back seating we call it extended rear seat arrangement so you can put three car seats in the back that's just one of those neat little touches what are your thoughts about the new Bronco oh we love it we're excited for it you have know, you we, seen one in person yet we have um, we have a trip to the Ford R&D lab and so we will see that in September. Uh, we also have um, 100 on reserve. So oh, we'll wow. convert those to a V8 and put a five liter Coyote in the 2021 Bronco. Lots of high But listen, I may, need to, I may need to give you a call because I missed my chance on <laughs> that early ordering. I asked my wife, I said, should we put, you know, should we order one? I waited a, two days and it was, Forget it. Yeah, the system crashed and we had uh, 25 people on it to um, make sure we got our 100 units on allocation. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I really missed the boat there. I, I like the idea of the V8. It will be good. It'll be um, EPA legal in all 50 states and um, it is a uh, really unique way to enjoy the, the new Bronco. Taking the four cylinder or the six cylinder EcoBoost and converting it to that, you know, throaty. Coyote V8, either naturally aspirated or supercharged. That's really cool. I saw a lot of comments uh, about the car when it came out. A lot of people said, why no Coyote? Yeah. And, and there you have it. So you're solving problems. We're solving problems. Uh, some people describe us as the innovators, uh, reimagining the Bronco. And we're really pulling from that background uh, an innovation we were talking about earlier. Uh, 40 patents or so to my name. Um, it's really uh, taking that background in medical devices and minimal invasive surgery for neurology and cardiology and applying uh, an innovative technique to solving the challenges on a Bronco. Very cool. How's the fuel economy on one of these? Well, so we have, uh, we've got one good example for the fuel economy and that was a gentleman that flew up uh, and drove it 1,200 miles back. And so he was getting about 16 to 17 miles to the gallon. And we're not gonna say how fast he was driving, right, yeah. but he was uh, uh, driving with 456 gears and 35 inch tires and um, a great Bronco that um, That sounds pretty good to me with that kind of gearing. It's uh, powerful. Yeah, that's it's powerful. And you know I, I, you know, I wouldn't expect to get a lot out of a, a vehicle like this, but uh, that's quite an improvement, I think, over the you know, and that original. Was using, yeah, that was using our six-speed transmission. We were an innovator there and brought forward the first 10-speed automatic. Well, now we have uh, the first world's first 10-speed uh, automatic, and that six was good, but the 10 is even better. So, Seth, uh, I do have one more question about a Bronco. Sure. And that is, back in your shop, there appeared to be a very unique looking Bronco sitting inside the front door. Yes. What do you have there? That is uh, the first Bronco. Yeah, that's, that how did you get your hands on this? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, we had the, uh, the second owner who bought it from Carol Shelby's ranch uh, give me a call. And uh, he first sent an email and then a text. And the, uh, the email was nice. It didn't describe Carol Shelby, but it talked about the first Bronco. And I wasn't sure I really believed it. And then um, later, he sent me a text. I had a picture of the VIN tag that said, all zeros in the VIN, owned by Carol Shelby. Uh, Want to talk? And so uh, it got my attention. And we ended up um, 
negotiating for two days on the price of the vehicle and, and bought it as the third owner of the first Bronco. You can see more at firstbronco.com and see the original literature, including the check for $100 to Carroll Shelby's Ranch wow. for, the, uh, for the Bronco. Wow, I, I would say that was probably a pretty good deal. At the time, I think that was a great deal. Would you be uh, willing to part with it for two hundred? I think that the uh, the multiple that uh, <laughs> the, the the Vinny Akobanski uh, made on that hundred dollar uh, investment was uh, was quite quite profound. Well, it's good to see it. I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated to see it in your hands because that seems like the kind of vehicle that you'd find in a museum somewhere. It is destined for a museum, and it is a very unique piece. Um, it is something that's running and driving. Uh, it's the first V8 Bronco. It's the um, uh, the last prototype for certain before they went into production, called a pilot of production uh, vehicle, and all zeros in the VIN. Extremely rare to see all zeros in the VIN, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're a caretaker of that vehicle, if you will. It's very very cool piece. So we saw the Mustang. Yep. We saw the Bronco. Yep. We've seen all the Broncos in the shop. Do you have any other cars? You know, I um, I really enjoy the F Series trucks, and so I've got a uh, an F one hundred that I just um, pulled out of a barn last November. And we're pulling a Bronco out of the barn, and uh, I liked it so much. It was original paint, uh, original engine, uh, sixty some odd thousand miles, and uh, ended up buying it. Drove it home uh, from Colorado and then uh, camped in the mountains, uh, then brought it back home, drove it for a while. We just took a trip to Montana and back in it, oh, wow. pulling a, uh, an Outlander camper. Did fantastic and... Uh, Is that uh, the one I saw parked in front of the building? It was, yeah. That's, yeah the, I saw it this the, morning, yeah. The green truck, yep, just got back with it. And so yesterday was my first day back and uh, parked it and there it is. So. Yeah, very cool. Uh, you know, that's something else we didn't speak about uh, while we were in the building. What about, uh, you're also building uh, uh, these uh, Ford pickups, is that right? We are, yes. We're licensed by Ford Motor Company to build the F-Series truck as well. And so we're starting to see demand for that era of vehicle, 1967 to 72, which is my favorite range, but I also really like the 73 to 79. And um, I grew up in a 79 F-250 Super Cab. My dad traded in a station wagon, a uh, Ford station wagon for the F-250 Super Cab, and that was our family vehicle. So, uh, you know, I would say that um, we're building a crew cab 4x4 planned for SEMA. Now we'll uh, debut it somewhere else. Uh, it'll have the world's first Godzilla 7.3 liter uh, with 10-speed automatic and uh, supercharger. Wow. And so that will be a unique vehicle. Uh, be a Miami blue on top, uh, Wimbledon white on bottom, and wall-to-wall -wall leather on the interior. Four doors as a crew cab, four-wheel drive. That sounds like it's going to be very cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I just uh, I love that blue. I was just uh, I was just uh, looking at a Miami blue uh, Audi R8 last week, and uh, that's just such a beautiful color. Well, uh, maybe you'll have us back and take a look when you get finished. With that. We would love to have you, Paul. Yeah. Love to have you. Thanks. You're welcome. This car, how, how far away is it from completion? Um, we have, next week, we'll have the, uh, the soft top. We'll have the rear seat, so the interior will be done. It's got 400 and, it's got 364 miles on it, so it's got quite a few miles on it. And um, uh, basically the miles are done on it, just a handful of miles afterwards, get it to 500. Bumpers and tires and wheels, and so I would think that, you know, next week, it goes out the door. Very cool, yeah. She she's gonna be, I think, pretty happy with it. I don't know about Michigan. It seems like you wouldn't get. Well, I don't know. It's a Bronco. I guess you can drive oh, it all it's a winter. Bronco. Oh yeah. Well, we've got a four season soft top, so it's uh, something that you can use at all times. <laughs> Heated seats, those things. It it makes it a very livable environment. It's a really impressive truck. Thank you, Paul. It's. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to drive. It's easy to drive. Um, it's just a, you know, something you can live with on a daily basis if you'd like to. I wonder if my wife would let me have one. That's a big question. That's a big question. You think my wife will let me have one of these? Just do what I do. You make a good point. Buy it, and she won't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> 
There it is. But just I'll put a license plate with her name on the front. <laughs> Call it hers. <laughs> it's like what I got for you. If you want to see the full video from our tour at Gateway Bronco, just click the link right over here, or you can check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you. Until next time, I'll see you then.